Internet World, Techno Guy 3, and today I'm going to be talking about how to keep your notes and to do lists in order. Um, this is very significant. Uh, people may try voice memos, but that gives you a lot of awkward stares on the bus. Uh, you might try just a note taking application on your computer, uh, but then it's not synchronized uh, between your computers. Or you could just like write a standalone note with a pen and paper. Uh, but then again, you're not always going to have that with you. So what I'm going to talk about today is Evernote. Evernote's a free service that allows you to keep your notes, to-do lists, uh, images, audio, and PDF files all in order. You can have it synced across all your devices. The great thing about Evernote is that it works on your phone as well as a Mac or a PC. Alright, so this is the desktop version of Evernote. Uh, as with any application, you have your menus up here. Um, first thing I noticed about this application is that it, it looks better suited to work on Mac OS X than it does on uh, Windows. So uh, it's it has a really nice design. I enjoy it. So you can just sync up here. Here's your trunk. Uh, of course, the Evernote does sync automatically, but uh, you can do a manual sync there. Uh, your trunk is filled with apps that... Uh, work with Evernote. Creating a new note is really simple. Again, it syncs automatically. If I just wanted to make a to-do list here, to-do list, uh, feed dog, uh, make, make Evernote review. There we go. That's my to-do list. It'll sync across everything I own, including my phone, so I can pull it up at any time. A cool thing about this is you can make an ink note. My handwriting is horrible, but if I wanted to make a note out of this, um, I could. You can also create video snapshots on your phone or, uh, of course, on the desktop. So here I am. Just took a snapshot of me. I'll save that. So now that'll sync across all of my Evernote things. Um, so that is really cool. You can also change your views up here, uh, search for specific notes email and printer notes. If you want to delete one, that's really easy too. The mobile version of Evernote m works in much the same way. Um, to, you can add a new text note, you can make a snapshot, uh, you can choose a photo from your camera roll, or uh, make a voice recording here. It has nice little tips there. Uh, here are all your notes, you can just go through them very easily. Uh, the application works in landscape mode as well, so you can just go scroll through them like this. Um, let's go back around here, and there you have your favorite notes. Right now I don't have any because I don't really do favorite notes. Uh, I don't have very many. And you can just synchronize uh, very easily with one press. So Evernote is a great app for on-the-go users and at-home users. Uh, but it isn't without its flaws. Occasionally Evernote won't sync correctly, which is annoying because you'll have an entirely different note on each device. Uh, sometimes you'll even lose part of your note. So, uh, final review. Uh, I give Evernote a 4 out of 5, a solid 8 out of 10. It's really great uh, as a free service that just syncs uh, all your stuff across all your devices. Um, it's really good to have a to-do list always available uh, in my pocket with my uh, phone. So that's pretty, pretty cool. So this has been Techno Guy 3. Thanks for watching.